I wasn't ready for them. They were supposed to come to tomorrow. Morning world, welcome to Monday, 22nd of August, and a change of plans. Uh, I ordered 100 tonnes of road planings. Um, Councillor doing some work in Thornby End, they rang me up. They rang me up occasionally say, do you want any? And this time I said, yeah, I could do with 100 tonnes. I need to top dress the yards. We get erosion and everything else. I could do a top dressing the yards. I have a bit of tidy up around the sheds, so I'll have 100 tonne. Right, no problem, he said. Uh, Tuesday, that all right? Yep, fantastic, no problem. That gives me Monday to get myself organised, sort of have a little fiddle faff around, a bit of a tidy up, get ready. Well, I was gonna do that this afternoon, it doesn't need a lot of time. Driver rings me, I'm in your yard with a little stone. Oh, I can't explain to you where I want it. And I'll tell you what, tip it in front of, there's some slabs of timber in my front yard, tip it in front of those slabs of timber, and I can move, it's only 20 tonne, I'll move the 20 tonne. So what did he do? He didn't tip it in front, he tipped it on top. So, Kevin, if you're watching this, kindly words. Why would you tip it on top? Perhaps I get paid peanuts, I don't know. Anyway, so I got back, first lorry had gone. I've been here two minutes, second lorry comes in, and I said, could I have a load down there in the middle of that yard? He goes, you know you've got 100 tonne coming? I said, yeah, yeah, I know I've got 100 tonne coming, I just want a load there, so I'm gonna scatter them about a bit. I've only got a skidster to move it about. It's far easier for me to place the tips around the place so I haven't got to move it about as much. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. So he drives up there, starts reversing back, straight into that log, crunch, bits of plastic, like, oh sh and he manoeuvres again, gets it down there, then can't get out because instead of coming back up the way he c came and reversing out, he decides to go up over there. So, you know, I've got to put half the yard back again. But I've got a load down there. And I'm thinking, right, well, I want a load end of the barn here, but I've still got all that timber to move from when we did the Yorkshire boarding, all the off cuts down here. And I need a load here to finish levelling up this yard. In fact, I might even need two eventually to come down here because we fitted the drains. That drain is deliberately high. We know nothing's going to go into there, but this yard has to come up three or four inches. So I said, we'll have a load there. I said, but make sure you tuck it over fairly tight because we've got to get the last two lorries. I've got to go down the end there. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So he's reversing down and I have to yell at him as well because he that much, that close he was, that close. He was just coming around. You can see the tracks. That's where his wheel stopped. I think that might be off the first lorry. Oops. Yeah, he started reversing and literally he nearly had that in his door. So stopped him in time, luckily. So now I've scorted around, got the skid steer out. Move stuff, and I'm ready for the last two. <sighs> Which are going to go right down the end there, out the way. Because we're going to want, I've got to finish off the drains, the down pipes on here. Um, and when that's done, the idea is we're going to put, fill that back in, and we'll have some of the planings and everything down there as well. Tidy the yard up, finish the job off. Hopefully, the last two lo loads will go incident free. No problem at all. I mean, if he's got his lorry lorry license, he can easily reverse down there, straight into that pile, tip it, I can deal with it from there. And then from there, like I said, once I've got these last bits of pipes sorted out, I can then fill this in, sort the levels out on the yard here, top dress a bit down there, and it'd be a good job. It's just one of those things I needed to get done before winter, so. Price. 
£8.50 a ton, which I didn't think was too bad considering the cost of fuel and transport and everything else. So we've ordered 100 tonnes at £8.50 a ton, plus VAT, obviously. Um, and that's what we're going to do right in there. So we've got to put a drain cover in there and, and yeah, there's just bits and bobs. And that'll be future videos. But for now, get the stone in, get myself sorted out a little bit. I can probably level this up a bit to actually start utilising that drain. So instead of so much water going that side of the barn, because a lot of it comes out across here, I can now divert it that way down that drain. That's what it's for. Fingers crossed. Right. Well, the first three lorries came within sort of 15 minutes of each other. Perhaps having a break. After I scored around to get ready. I've parked the skid steer there on purpose, hoping that, that whoever comes in, if I'm not in the yard, will get the message not to tip it there. Although I'll probably come out and find a pile in the skid steer cab. I hope this is what I think it is. I'm really laughing. I'm really laughing. It's not. Well, I, I, put, I, put, I put an order number on it of Holly P. Right, Holly, can you tell me right this minute what you're doing? Baking. What are you doing right this minute? Cutting up chocolate. Cutting up chocolate. Do you like cutting up chocolate? No, we're going to eat it. How much do you hate cutting up chocolate? It really hurts my wrists. Just keep on with me. Is this because you um I watched you the other day cutting up chocolate and I thought, I wonder, this isn't supposed to come. Hurry up because I've got a lorry coming in. I shouldn't cut it. towards you, it's very naughty. Mm -hmm. Don't mean to hurry, I can't do Oh come on. Stick it in, go on. I'll break it. They have it comes up really bizarre. So I watched you cutting up chocolate the other day and I thought, I wonder if I could do something to help her with that. Because you had to come in and help me once, remember that? Yeah, and I remember how hard it was. Yeah. It was really hard work. I can't quite, I don't understand how I've done it. Okay, right. I'll have that because it's not hygienic. So confused. Oh, go on, get it out, get it out. I'm trying! Done. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely the thing I bought you. Absolutely, definitely. It's really in there. <laughs> Hold that. Hold that. Yeah, I only got that strength. I'm not gonna lie. It's not quite as big as I thought it might be. I'm rushing because there's a lorry coming in and I need to see him. Can you see what it is yet? Yeah, it's got a sharp rod as well. But what I thought was, if you put your bit of you've got to tighten that up a little bit. But you put your chocolate in there, you can just jink, 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 jink. Yeah. Yeah. Need a spanner, 13 mil spanner. But go on, just try a bit of, I know it's loose, but just put a bit of chocolate in there and just see if it, I just want to know if it's going to work. It doesn't need to be tightened up. It just needs to be tightened up, yeah. No, On your fingers, because that will be sharp. But that should be easier than what you were doing. I'd like to think considerably easier than what you were doing. I'll get a spanner and tighten that up yeah. and, then, and, then, and then, then try it when well, he's not here yet. Oh yeah, I say. Let me get a spanner, that's a 13 mil. Okay. Try it now. No, 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 I have to leave the spanner in there so I can take it off and clean it. No, you have to buy your own spanner. I bought the thing, you can buy the spanner. Right. Is it too stiff? No, no, no. No, no, perfect. Uncle Daddy, that's so much easier. 
Is it? Can, you, not, can you cut it finer than that? Or is, I, I, I find... Probably can. Only that fine, it's only when I'm melting. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. Probably when I have it not so soft. So yeah. I'll for a minute. All right, okay. A bit crumbly. So was that a good idea? It was a very good idea. Well, it even got its own sharpener, look. I know, I'm very excited. How shop. flipping brilliant am I? And you've got chocolate, you've got a chocolate bindi. <laughs> it's gone now. It's almost like the ketchup thing, when I ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is actually for um, cutting meat. It's designed to cut meat. Obviously you can't. For, uh, I think it was a, a ooh, I think it's called ooh, a beef jerky ooh. slicer or something. Ooh. Talking about me, not in a weird way, don't, don't make it creepy. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know we were talking about beef packs the other day, so we just need it, um, the boxes, the polystyrene boxes. Oh, for the posting, posting My small packs. My does them. Do they? Yes. Get a cost. I will, I'm going to show you the website and you can have a look through. But right. they do, they do different sizes as well, so we can do... Small beef packs. Small beef packs. So we oh. might be able to let people have small beef packs. Oh, hang on. No, it, oh. I've got a lorry. Tell you what, that was really confusing this morning. Yeah. Really confusing. <sighs> He's a cheerful chappy. Right then, we'll see him back. Make sure he doesn't hit that log. It's almost exciting, isn't it? in the bag. Right, I've just called him names because that was the driver, that was the first driver who tipped it all over my logs. And he goes, I'm sorry, he said, I, I mis misguided it, misjudged it. So I've got to dig it all out now, you bugger. Uh, anyway, he's going to stop in my yard for half an hour because he's got to have his half hour break. And I said, yeah, carry on, you can stop there. No worries. So I can call him more names then. I'm back. Was it worth? Was it worth twenty quid? Yes, definitely worth. Twenty quid for this. Hey, twenty quid. More. Hey. Yes, it's definitely worth the twenty quid. I thought it was. See. Well done, Dad. Tell, oh, I'm not how, have my one how, strong muscle. How anymore. brilliant am I? Very brilliant. On a scale of one to ten of brilliantness. Really, how he is. But other than that, I'm brilliant. Ten. Brilliant. It's yeah. Brilliant. So. You can get yourself a little spanner if you want to cut it, but really and truly, because it's not meat, because this is for um, doing meat. Yeah. I'm making myself a cup of tea and not Yes, please. Oh. I actually started making myself a drink and never got around to it. You got really excited because my present came. Yeah. That's all this present. Oh, she got her face in the fridge. My oh. present, mummy. She nodded. Yeah. <laughs> she nodded. She nodded. Oh, okay. Okay. And, and, I, and like I said, it, it won't take up much space. No, it won't. So, find somewhere. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if that's a spring or something, or a, a cleaning tool, or a... It's a spanner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? It's a... Yeah, not a problem. I can't get it out there, I'm not going to lie. It's the spanner. <laughs> it's sprung, that's why it is. So you have to press it down and pull it out. You've got girly fingers, is that what it is? Go on, go on, Ollie, it's laughing at you. Go on, laughing at you. There's such a word as cat. It's really hard. <laughs> it's 
pretty hard. Hold that. You get it? Yeah. Of course I did. I had man fingers. I had to get hold of it, but so you can either put that, you can either put that back in, or or you can leave it. So when he when he told me he's got me a present, one I got really confused because usually it's mum who gets me the presents, and you go, yeah, we definitely got you that. Just for a change. I don't know. It, it was it was literally about a week, ten days ago. I saw you were chopping chocolate, and I could see how you were struggling. And I've done it. It's not easy to cut a chocolate. I've done it, so I thought, do you know what? So I think it's um, I think they call it a jerky guillotine, so sort of cutting up beef jerky. But um. But I think for cutting chocolate, that is ideal. Or anything else that you want yeah. that's a bit stiff, marzipan. Christmas cake menu's coming out soon. What, Christmas cake menu? Uh, price list's coming out soon. All oh, right, okay, because uh, well, a Christmas cake is a Christmas cake, isn't it? Christmas cake's Christmas It just depends, it Christmas just depends how much alcohol you put in it. Well, it depends on how early you order and how much alcohol you get in it. Just, just drain it. I do. Just drain it, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, have fun. Okay.